Good morning, grade two. Let's talk about contractions and homophones. We've been talking all about contractions. So we know that a contraction is a shortcut to say two words. We know that our friend the apostrophe replaces the letters that we don't use. Let's look at contractions that have the word not in them. Haven't, won't, and shouldn't. What two words make up the word haven't? That's right, have and not. What letter does the apostrophe take the place of in haven't? That's right, O. Oh. Let's look at the word won't. The word won't is a tricky one. It's a contraction for will not. What letter does the apostrophe take the place of in the word won't? That's right, it takes the place of the letter O. Then I have the word shouldn't. Shouldn't, what two words make up the word shouldn't? That's right, should not. And what letter does the apostrophe replace? The apostrophe replaces the letter O in the word shouldn't. I also want to talk about three words, two, two, and two. What do you notice about these three words? All of these words sound the same, two, two, and two, but they are spelled differently. These are called homophones. The word two, spelled T-O, is what's called a function word. We would use it in a sentence like, mom and dad drove to the Easter egg hunt. The second word is the number two. We would use it in a sentence like this. Each child got two giant Easter eggs in their basket. The third two has two O's on the end. We would use it in a sentence for also or something that would be extreme. Let me give you two examples. Little Jimmy said, I want to go to the Easter egg hunt too. Or there are too many Easter eggs to find on this hunt. I hope you guys have fun working on your worksheets today.